Freddie Peralta gets the ball for the Milwaukee Brewers tonight. And we are here inside of American Family Field, and we are so lucky to be joined by one of the all-time greats as a Milwaukee Brewer, Ben Sheets. We're from the Gruber Lofts. It's one call. That's all sports desk. Steven Watson, Tim Dillard, and the 22nd member inducted into the Milwaukee Brewers Walk of Fame. It's been eight years with these Brewers, four-time All-Star, the only Brewers pitcher to start an All-Star game. And, Ben, there's been over 1,000 Brewers to wear that uniform. You're one of 22 to be in the Walk of Fame. What does that mean to you? Um, that's a huge honor. Um, good blast from the past. My career is getting further and further in the rearview mirror at this point, but to have um, this honor that they gave me today is a pretty big deal. Um, like you said, many people come through here and have to be the 22nd member of that, it's pretty incredible. What kind of emotions flood you when you come back into this ballpark? I love this ballpark. This is my home when I got here, the, my very first game, very first year, you know, through 08. Um, I've never, I've never really felt any other way about any organization, organization like I do this one. Um, I'm a brewer through and through, and um, I, I love getting back here and just getting a chance to, you know, see the ballpark and see the guys play. Yeah, we get to see you here. You know, you got to wear a suit on top of the dugout and do a speech. How did that feel? Where did the suit go? You ditched that for the jersey? Threw it away. It's in the trash now. <laughs> I'm surprised that, they got you to wear it. That plate they put outside is the one I batted on. It's about this big, <laughs> you know. Um, so that's what was my, my problem with hitting. But, um, yeah, it was, it was awesome. That's a pretty cool honor out there. Yeah, have you been out there yet? Did, did the, it go from the dugout to out in the – well, I caught three kids trying to, like, damage it already. <laughs> you know, they shouldn't be right here. Like, that was rude. Like, I can't believe how pretty that is. That is. That's good. <laughs> uh, you're the third player from that 2008 team to join the Walk of Fame, joining Prince Fielder and Jeff Jenkins. What made that 2008 team so special? Um, first off, they had a lot of ability on there, a lot of talent, um, which you'll see in the future. As the other guys get further away, you'll start seeing some more of these type of deals happening. But, um you know, Prince and Jeff was very unique players, very good to Milwaukee, and um, some of the better players that never came through, and they were well-deserving of their honor. And um, like we said, it all just come up on that 08 team and, you know, kind of knock the door down for the group that's there today to play in the playoffs, what, six years since? So your relationship with the Brewers, it's, it's a lot like mine. Like, you got in and, and you, it becomes family. Uh, who are some of the people along the way that you still keep in touch with? Is it everybody? Is it a couple of coaches? Is it players? I mean, who, who do you see on, like, the most regular basis and talk and text and all that? Well, from Louisiana, so we don't really have a team. So when I got drafted in Milwaukee, it was my team. Yeah. You know, it was, that was what we kind of knew, and it became even my family's team, and it's we're Brewer fans, but um, – Jeff Jenkins is still one of my favorite, you know, teammates. Mike Maddox is still one of my favorite people. I still – Jamie Wright. Um, Ned Yost I still love. I still think Ned. Ricky Weeks is here. He's one of my all-time favorite people and teammates. But I, I could sit here and name a bunch because the relationships that I created here are a pretty big deal to me. And um, I really enjoyed almost every teammate I've ever played with. You mentioned the word family, and I know your family is here with you making this trip. And – during that ceremony today that they showed on the big screen behind us. You got a little choked up when you saw them. You have the opportunity to throw out the first pitch tonight, and you're going to be throwing it to your son. What does yeah. that mean to you? Yeah, I got to throw it to my youngest a, a year or two ago, so my oldest is going to catch this one. But um, I think just the opportunity for them to see that and see their dad get honored like this, this type of situation, I think it, it feels pretty good for me because I keep telling them I was pretty good. They still don't believe it. And there's, <laughs> it's the Internet – you know, you can go Google it, but yeah, yeah. they come up and, like, Google something where I'm striking out or some dude's hitting a homer. They thought it was funny the other day. I put on Twitter my, last year when I was in Atlanta, I gave up three back-to-back back homers. They thought that was the greatest thing ever. You know, so. <laughs> Not that 18 strikeout no, game. No, they don't even know that exists. <laughs> you know, when you have kids, they become critics at some point, and, you know, they think they're better, but I can still strike them out. Are you, were you going to be throwing a curveball first pitch? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm I'm get, there, there's I no mean, other option. For I didn't you. feel right throwing. You know, I felt like CC might have should have went on short rest. <laughs> Threw it out there for <laughs> Should have kept him an extra night <laughs> yeah. throwing it for you. Yeah. Oh man, Ben Sheets, thank you so much for joining us. You gave so many fans inside this building so many memories, and those watching at home. I mean, there, there's hundreds of people around us right now just to get a glimpse of you inside this ballpark. We appreciate it and congratulations for joining the Walk of Fame. Thank you. This ballpark's given me more memories than I've given them. All right, Ben Sheets, ladies and gentlemen.